Hello, this is Dr. Lorenzo, Longevity Health Institute. I hope this finds you well. I'm with uh, Marisa here. Uh, she's a medical student from Michigan State University, um, a second year student. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, as I think some of you know, and that I've talked about before, I'm a clinical professor at Michigan State University. So I'll get students and residents and stuff coming in and uh, try to show them the um, good kind of integrative medicine of primary care and kind of how we integrate the two. Um, so I put Marisa here on the spot and asking her, I said, hey, you got to do this with me. And um, what, what's your experience been like this week? She's only been with me for a week. So. Yeah, it's been totally different than anything that I've seen before. Um, there's a lot of new techniques and a lot of new uh, supplements that I haven't heard of before that you use in your practice. Um, it's basically focusing a lot more on prevention, which I think has been great. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said she's gonna send me a really hard case and I, I won't put her on the spot, but a few hard cases that yeah. she knows of. <laughs> maybe family but <laughs> anyway so um but but it's been it's been fun you're, you're lovely you're going to be an awesome doctor Thank you. um one of the things that is uh um kind of i kind of always go with you is what one of the uh, patients or experiences i had of the day one of the ones that come to mind to me just just today um is somebody that actually um, doing really, really well. About a year and a half ago, year and a half ago ish, she had lost her husband, um, and she's a professional, uh, works at a hospital. Long story short, and she was kind of very uh, struggling emotionally and physically, and she's postmenopausal. And uh, um, we saw her today uh, checking her hormones, um, doing a pellet hormone replacement for her. Um, she's doing lovely, actually, really, actually got remarried. Um, has a lot of energy and vitality and is one thing that I've always uh, shared this with you is gratitude. She has wonderful gratitude for the many great things in life and that. I'm sure you remember who I'm talking yeah. about. So, and, and she's doing excellent, beautiful, beautiful uh, middle-aged woman. And any case that comes to mind this week that you've seen that uh, was different or interesting or a kind of a different perspective? Um, I think with the mental health, I like the approach that you take with that. Um, I've never seen a doctor before order all of the neurotransmitters like you do and follow it in that way. So that was something unique. Um, and you kind of attacked it from, from all angles. Um, a young man, you know, with um, struggling with anxiety and depression and just the way that you looked at that case, that really stood out to me. Yeah, great, super. Well, and I think what's unique to that, um, and I think I've shared with you out there before, is that when we see somebody with mood disorders, we always um, try to get down to the root cause. And sometimes it is genetics or congenital. And this young man, mm -hmm. actually, he had family, a lineage of a lot of family history. So often we'll see lower tr neurotransmitters like serotonin and, and tryptophan and 5-HTP and uh, um, uh, norepinephrine and some of these that'll be really, really low. We did work on his gut health and he did um, rem you know, yeah. um, do much better as far as he felt like that was making a big difference on his gut health and his brain function and, and uh, mood and that. But we, we did have to intervene and, and use something mm -hmm. that, but this way it's personalized. So we use something called an SSRI that stabilizes and raises serotonin. Um, it's done intentionally and purposefully, not just um, one size fits all. And I think he'll do great. He actually even asked us, and we'll see in the next month or two when he comes back, he asked us about, you know, I've heard these make people worse, make them depressed more, make them suicidal, or have even worse anxiety. And usually in my experience, those are the cases when people are just blanketly treated and not individually treated or, or personally treated on a personalized level. So that's why we do, you know, the personalized mm -hmm. test. Yeah. So, um, well, it's been lovely to have you here. Thank you. And, and you're going to be an awesome me. doctor. She wants to do genetics, and that's very unique and something we need, and that's at the paradigm shift of, like, medicine right now, and mm -hmm. she'll probably do amazing with that and come back here and share with us about all these things that we're doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm joking but anyway so um, good luck to you Thank and it's you. been a pleasure and now she gets to go back and, and study in her books yeah <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dr. Lorenz Longevity Health Institute keep being well